Hello. Okay. Um, at this point, um, kung meron po mga katanungan yung mga kasama natin sa press, both online po and on-site, uh, we are opening now the uh, the floor for questions. Again, you can access yung um, statement ng Hawaii Peace and Justice uh, through their website, Women's Voices, Women Speaks. Uh, the link is in the uh, document na sa footnote po. In case lang, and also, uh, it is also distributed here on site. Uh, hello, ha? hello, hello po, good morning. Uh, ang katanungan ko po is, ano, uh, meron po ba tayong hakbang para mahadlangan ang paglilipat ng fuel dito sa Subic Bay? Thank you po. Uh, sir, saan sa iyo galing? Uh, uh, from uh, Rapuriga po, from Nung Break Balita and uh, okay. the RPTV. Okay. Uh, sa ngayon, sir, si sinong gusto sumagod? Okay. Uh, sir, at this point, dahil hindi po po na nako-confirm, kaya nga po tayo nagtatanong. Kaya nga, ang isa din sa gusto natin dito, we are demanding accountability, transparency, and ano, uh, responsibility. Anong mangyayari pag nakarating na? Nakarating na ba? Kasi ang according sa news, sir, is three weeks. Lagpas na po ng three weeks mula ng December 20 na nagdayag yung barko. So, are we to say na nandito na siya sa Philippine Area of Responsibility na siya na siya dito? Uh, ba't hindi natin naririnig? Kaya nga po, tayo nagtatanong. Sapagkat alam naman po natin, noong na-transfer sa atin uh, at umalis na yung base, lalo na sa Subic at sa Clark, hindi naman lahat ng areas siya na open to the public pa rin. Uh, nananatili naman po yun. Kaya nga po, naging mabilis lang ang pagbalik nila nung bumalik na sila yung mga tropang uh, militar, yung kanilang access, sapagkat kanila pa rin naman yun. Alam nila yung mga gamit doon, alam nila yung mga taguan doon, alam nila kung saan nila ilalagay yun. Problema, hindi po natin alam. At yun ang magiging, uh, sa katunayan po, yun ang magiging problema natin dahil tayo ay nasa ring of fire, tayo ay palaging Uh, nililindol, maaaring bahain, di ba, tsunami. Imagine nyo po, nakabaon siya sa lupa, what if mag-leak? What if mag-compass? Anong mangyayari? Paano? Sino ang mananagot? Yun po yung problema natin eh. Kaya, kaya po, kung kaya, kung nabutan yung sinasabi ng mga kasama natin sa white, kung kaya sila mismo, military families na nagkakanda sa kitna, ay sinasabi to their faces that the water is safe kahit amoy gasolina na, Paano pa po tayo? Eh tayo, napakalayo natin eh. ba diba po? Hindi nga tayo familiar eh. Meron po ba tayong standard sa sasabihin water quality? Pag po ba may burak-burak, hindi na po ba yung safe? Eh alam naman po natin po ngayon nga, parang pinagtsatsagan pa natin yung medyo hindi sa kagandahan na itsura ng katubigan natin. ba? Diba? Kapag nag-leak yan, malalaman po ba natin yung difference? Ang pag-aap lang po, ma'am, uh, meron na ba tayong idea kung saan ang gagaling yung, kung meron bas-bas galing dito sa atin? Ang, ang hirap kasi, nakuha lang natin itong information na ito mula sa ating mga kaibigan, sa mga social movements, peace movements sa, ano, sa Hawaii. Wala po tayong lumabas ito sa isang pahayagan o the Lulu, the Porter, Star, okay, a Star Advertiser. Lumabas po ito sa media sa Honolulu. At this is not a recent issue. This is a problem that the population of Hawaii, of Honolulu, have been protesting against for years. It took them years of protesting until very recently, in 2021, there was again a spill and contamination of the water, which they have been uh, protesting against as a real possibility. So this is the only time that the U.S. Uh, Navy acted to say, okay, We close down the storage facility in in Hawaii, the Red Hill storage facility, and a 
that they adopted what they called a distributive strategy to distribute all the fuel over a million, a hundred million gallons underneath the Red Hill storage facility, which they are now closing, finally, uh, decommissioning, and they will redistribute the fuel to different countries. And one of the countries identified, supposedly, is the Philippines. That's why uh, this is something that we should really be very worried about, very concerned about, very disturbed about, and we should know what is happening. And more than that, there should be some public issue or debate. This cannot just be an action on the part of the U.S. We don't even know if the Philippine government was really consulted. But certainly, this is beyond what is what we, the Filipino people, have been made aware of. It's bad enough that we have been coerced or pressured into adding additional EDCA sites just recently, just about a year ago, to the five original sites uh, provided to the U.S. military forces. Bumalik na po sila. Bakit hindi tayo nagtatanong noon pa? In the first place, bakit natin pinayagang bumalik sila ng wala man lamang protesta galing sa taong bayan nang na pinatalsik na po natin ang base militar at maliwanag nilagay na yan sa ating constitution bakit po nilalabat uli natin wala walang pakundangan ang constitutional provision na wala nang magkakaroon ng panibagong mga foreign troops and facilities in this country without a treaty concurred in by the Senate. We have entered, as, as uh, has been mentioned earlier, we are part of the ASEAN Agreement of Neutrality and the Nuclear Weapons Free Zone in this area. We have always touted and shouted that we have an independent foreign policy. But please let us ask questions. Is this the way an independent government with a foreign independent foreign policy, is this how they should conduct themselves? Indeed, Paul, we are asking questions and that's why it comes as a shock feeling of protest and condemnation. Why is this happening again and again without people's consent and discussion? It's time to ask questions and to criticize and to protest at makialam. We have a stake here. It's not only the Philippine government, but every person, every woman, man and child we, this is affecting the life and health situation of our people. We cannot just let this go on without media. We look to media to please ventilate the issue and ask questions for us so that we, you can reach out to greater uh, population. Kailangan po natin pukawin ang ang kaalaman ng ating mga kababayan. We should add our citizens' voices against all these impending and ongoing wars of aggression on the part of the U.S. Right now, alam ko ang matinding matinding issue is the Palestine issue. But who is behind the Palestine-Israel genocidal policy and attacks against Gaza, against the Palestinian people. Isipin po natin yan, kaninong kamay ang nagpapagalaw sa lahat ng ganitong mga war-like situations. Magtanong po tayo at kasama po sana kayong mga nasa media, 
para po mapukaw ang damdamin, ang kaalaman, ang kaisipan ng ating mga kababayan. Hello. Yes, may questions pa po? Ako. Uh, wait up po ah. 